Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin and today we are going to be doing a few tasks here and there, but the main focus of the episode and the first part of the episode is going to be working on setting up a beekeeping area. I don't have much experience with bees yet, but I do know that if you put flowers around them, they will pollinate the flowers and then go over by the crops and pollinate them and make them uh, move grow faster sorry uh and then you know you can also collect honey from them you can collect a lot of different things so i wanted to kind of get into that if you didn't catch last episode we went ahead and gathered netherite uh ancient debris sorry uh we gathered some ancient debris and got a full netherite set of armor and a netherite shovel to go along with our tools so now that we have that we should be on our way to get decked out for the nether. I mean the end, sorry. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video. I post video videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with random streams and other videos in between. Now, of course, in typical bean in fashion, I'm gonna have to do some quick research on bees and kind of how the bee boxes work and such. All right, so I've been looking at it and turns out I was pretty close to what I thought I had to do. Uh, it doesn't matter if I choose a beehive or a bee nest. Um, there is no difference to them outside of the texture, aside from one is craftable and the other one generally has to be picked up with silk touch. So I think what I'm going to do is craft myself a campfire and take my silk touch uh, pickaxe. Let's see. Do I have any coal in here? Yeah, I do. Actually, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, take my silk touch pickaxe. Yes, I know I'm going to have to use a pickaxe. I know that the axe is a better tool for it, but I'm going to take my silk touch pickaxe and kind of just go collect whichever bees I have. Now, in order to uh, have more bees than I do hives, I can harvest the original hives. Oops, sorry. And then have, you know, no, I can harvest the original nests and then I can build the hives, which I think will be perfect. Um, so to get started, we're just gonna make sure I have everything I need. I do, let's make some campfires. Thank you. Uh, do I have a flint and steel? No, but that's really easy to come by. And let's go ahead and see what I have. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to need shovel. Actually, I have a shovel. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, let's go over here. Uh, ooh. Okay, I'm going to have to make a stop at the potion room because I need some glass. No, I don't want glass bottles. I'm going to need shears. And I need to remember where my shears are before I can start going uh, and collecting these bees. Now, the location uh, is, I'm 50-50 on, honestly. I think over here would be good because, you know, they can farm my crops and everything and they can grow faster. And there are flowers on this side. Now, I'm pretty sure if I put it here, the bees are just going to, you know, come up to this flower and whatnot but it has been a while since i've built something here alternatively i was thinking about building a beehive over here or not a beehive a bee farm over here so that it can feed the villagers but honestly the villagers got their own system so i guess that kind of narrows it down for us and i just gotta wait for it to become nighttime so that we can uh get what we need from the beehives actually well no we just need the bee nest okay this is going to be like the andesite and or the ancient debris and netherite thing i'm just going to say you know whichever one i'm thinking of at the time it's the same thing now don't worry i'm not going to sit idly by while i wait for the darkness to come it's actually not that far away um i am going to excuse me <laughs> use this time to start kind of making the general structure that I want to have around my bee farm just because I can use this. Could I? Eh, I could also use, yeah. Eh, mm, eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. 
just because I can use, um, I'm, you know, I can make a retaining wall and stuff like that. And I can build a little shelter around it because it would look weird if it was just a bunch of boxes and hives and what have you all up uh on this side of things so i don't need much space for this because this can be something that's long Lo long yeah this can be something that's long and not wide um but oh boy am i gonna have enough bricks yeah i should <laughs> but the good thing about this is that i can just add to the retaining wall as it goes along because honestly that will that will probably be enough for now because i don't have that many bees yet all right the darkness is coming and i don't know why i'm saying it so dramatically but <laughs> it is and i'm going to use these five fires Ooh, shears yes i know i have a pair and i know you're probably gonna yell at me but i'm gonna make another <laughs> it's only two iron here and there come on it's no different than a sword but this one's actually useful. Now, I'm getting the honeycomb from the hives first before I harvest them. And then, uh, well, yeah, I'm just getting the honeycomb and harvesting them, then replacing them. So I think I have, yes, I, are you going to go to bed, B? B, go to bed. Okay, yes, go, go to your home. Come on. Come on, you get in. Are you done? Come on, thank you. Now we'll put this here. Okay. This is the honeycomb. And then, and then, I think I can do this. Cool, it's not legal. <laughs> All right, so we got one hive. How many bees does it have? Eight components. I don't think that's right. <laughs> but we've got one hive right here. I think I have another hive somewhere around here. Hello? Hello? Peace. Okay, well, we don't have one here. <laughs> and it's on peaceful. I knew that. <laughs> don't yell at me. Uh, okay, so there's not a beehive out here. Oh, there's probably a creeper right there. Get out of here. Stop it. <sighs> Let's see. Any beehives in here? I know there's one near my tree farm, but... Well, it is... It, well, it is technically near my tree farm. Um, but I think it's over by the cave. I don't know. We can take a look. I haven't had any spawn up here yet, which is good, bad. I don't know. And different. There's one. So let's grab you. Sorry, bees. Thank you. What the? Lag. <laughs> I feel like there's one more in here. There should be one. If not, we can start making um the beehives. So we'll have, I think, two bee nests. And then one beehive. No, 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 no. Two bee nests and then however many beehives I need. And sir... Some honest okay i just thought of this. you know how i always have trouble uh side note you know how i always have trouble with like beehive or not beehives um skeletons and my bow or skeletons and shooting me what if i got thorns on a shield is that a possibility because that would help and get like unbreaking or something or mending i don't know food for thought well while i was trying not to die the uh what was it a skeleton shot a creeper and i got blocks uh, I fell in a hole, <laughs> is what happened. Okay, I think there might be a bee nest down here. Hello? Bee nest? Nope. Any bee nest here? Nope. Okay, my last chance is going to be over here. And no, we have no bee nest, but that's okay. We can make beehives. Now, I believe the crafting recipe for beehives is as such. I don't have any wood in here, so I gotta go in here. Uh, let's see. Sorry. <laughs> also, isn't there a potion you can use with honey? Is it like 
is it like jump boosters? No. I mean, that's an effect, but is it like to do with jumping? I feel like it's either jumping or falling. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I don't know why I did that when there's a crafting table right here. Come back here. Thank you. Okay, so, so far I have two, which is fine. That's fine. I'm going to need more carpet for uh, the bees. I learned from iCraft MC's video, of course. Great content creator. If you ever have any questions about Minecraft, go to his videos. He gives you comprehensive guides. Not sponsored. Uh, hmm. I guess I don't have a specific color. Um, stop it. Hmm. Hey, yeah, I thought I always put shears up here, but I guess I can. Okay, I have that. Ah, right. Well, that's not really worth it. So let's just go ahead and create some. Okay, yeah, that's more than I have. Let's just use black carpet for now. And the reason is because I craft MC said that in order for the bees to uh, not get hurt, <laughs> you need to have. Okay, hold on. First, let me let me put this down. Oh, that's that's not it. You need to have a um, carpet over your fire source. Sorry, I'm trying to think and build. We all know how this goes. Get out of here. You need to have a carpet over your fire source, or else the bees can fall on it and get hurt. And oh, well, you know, just be bees, simple bumblebees. Now, real quick, I'm just going to continue building this little shelter. Ow. While the sun comes up, not for any particular reason, but okay. Um, you know, I just want to do it for the bees. So it's going to be very simple <laughs> if I can get it. Okay, there we go. And I'm thinking about doing this backside as trap doors, you know, like a little bee shed. Uh, well that, yeah, this is, this is pretty much it. <laughs> this right here. Now, I could do it like a lean-to style. Actually, I might do that. Okay, so instead of that, I'm going to do this. And hopefully I end on a part where... Oh, I do end on it. So that's perfect because now I can... Drum roll, please. Not... Con oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I don't have to go up all the way. I can do this. This is acceptable. That's not what I wanted. Where's the, where, thank you. Okay, that's not what I wanted either. All right, well, I'm gonna go fill in the roof real quick. And then we can also kind of work on just this little area. All right, well, oh, I thought I was done. I wasn't. Uh, let's see, there we go. Now we're done. Thought I'd keep it like that, you know, just to keep some space. Uh, but now it's like a nice little bee thing. So I think my plan is, oh boy. Oh, wait. I don't know if I thought about this. Actually, you know what? No, I did think about this. Because <laughs> my goal is I want to have, okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> my goal is that I want to have, you know, space for bees. But I also want to be able to... I don't know. It doesn't have to be that big. Um, I can go ahead and add this here. Ah, okay. Hold on. I'm getting an idea. Let me think. Let me think. So I think for these, I can put boom, 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 boom. Okay. That, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, carpet. And this won't burn. I can have it like this. Sir, thank you. Uh, the carpet I can have like this. Okay. And then the bees. Oh, I can put up here. Oh. And I believe. So you see what I'm going here? Oh, and then also to put these out so, you know, the bees aren't constantly. Oh, that's annoying. Give me that. 
Why did you do that? Uh, oh! Also, what the heck? I don't know what did that. Okay, so fun fact. Okay. In Minecraft, if you uh, put out a fire and then break it with silk touch. Ah, there we go. It brings back, uh, gives you back the, uh, what's it called? The things. The, the, it brings back the fire. <laughs> so now I'm going to give it some time. Uh, let's see. I think the bees are out around here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Where are you going? You got any flowers? No flowers? You bad bee. Okay, well, while we're doing that, I can uh, continue working on this part. I think right here I'll just have match the... Uh, actually? Nah. Nah, I can do this. I was going to say, here I can just match to the floor. And I just realized my diamond axe and shovel are... About to be on the kaputs. <laughs> That's okay though. I know I have a diamond shovel somewhere else. And then I also have a diamond axe somewhere else, so no worries here. There we go. Oh, gotta make sure I get these. And there's two approaches I'm thinking. I can go find it. Well, I do need to go find one more because I want it to be, you know. Uh, not transcendental. That's not the word I was looking for. Uh, symmetric, symmetric. Yeah. And why did I do these? Come here. There we go. Just a little tiny beekeeper thing, you know. Just something. Boop. There we go. Oh, also, what I was gonna th uh say is that we reached 800 subscribers. So, buddy, you okay? Okay, that's good. Um, oh, okay. They might have a little trouble if, oh, nope, they're getting flowers. Okay, wait, let's see if they're accurately doing what they need to do. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Yes, do that. Come on, little buddy. Oh, pollen. Ah, yes, that works, good. All right, so, I finished up with the building process. Uh, let's see. Wow, that's... Yeah, that's almost full. Um, so that's good. Now I need to grab my shovel. Where are you? And actually, we can go ahead and enchant this real quick. One, two, three. Nope. Uh, show me... Ooh, that's risky. Yeah, I knew that. Um, that's okay, though. Huh. That's okay, though. At least, I mean, it's a netherite shovel, so. I should wait until I have mending on it. I'm going to do that because I have an unbreaking one. So let's put you back. It's okay. And then let's go grab another shovel. And then I'm going to need to get some more flowers and spruce up the thing. The bee thing. Of course, it also starts raining as soon as I finish it. But look, it's a nice little cozy beehive hut. Beehive hut? Yeah, beehive hut. That I can, you know, tend to my crops with. Hopefully, you know, I get more honey than this and whatnot. But right now, I'm going to need them, you know, yeah. I mean, they can stay dry and stuff like that, so that's good. But let's go find my shovel and then find some more beehives in the morning. Right, now the search for bees and flowers can't be too hard. Uh, I need some flowers. Actually, I could make a little flower farm next to the beehive. Let's see. Yes. We can go flower picking. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I need to find some, uh, flowers that are like the two tall ones. You know, have those around. But, I think, if I remember correctly, there's some of that stuff over here by the canal... I made I know I never documented this because I did it off camera when I like first started out but it was like in the first or second episode that not the first or second oh, big flowers not the first or second episode but uh like it was third or fourth or something like that but in between episodes I made a canal this canal out here and it's like 
I never mention it. I use it sometimes on camera. I'm pretty sure it's obvious that it's man-made. But I don't know. Now, if we could... What the heck is this? Oh, what are those? Are those wolves? Yeah. Okay, they must not change in the old generation. Oh, is that beehive? I didn't bring... I didn't bring campfires. Rookie mistake number one, I guess. Okay, well, I guess we can just wait until I have more uh, honeycombs for a beehive. I actually really just needed these flowers. What is that? Big hole? Yes. And then we can plant a little flower farm by the beehives. And kind of also, I'm going to line my farm with flowers, too. Just so they're hanging out around there and the pollen drops on the... Uh, crops because hey if it speeds up efficiency i'm gonna do it in certain areas you know i'm not the most efficient person i never claim to be now for all of the one tall uh flowers i'm gonna go ahead and just put them back here because the two tall i can put in rows over here because these can actually be bone meal differently so if i go one, two, three, four, five Oh, I wanted these to be in the middle. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so let's just do one, two, three, four, five. Skip a row. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of looking good. I also have this stuff on here because in case I need, you know, to get uh, this book can be Unbreaking 3. And that would be very good. Oh, speaking of which, look at that. Now here, let's see, let's do that, and then shear it, right? Oh, okay, sometimes, okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with that, and then I've got this, does it take a durability, okay, it does, yeah, so I've got that, and then look at that, we got some honeycombs, which should be enough for one more bee box. And then I can maybe breed the bees. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, now that we have these bees, I can go ahead and get this little guy and see if we can breed them. So I can get another one to come out. Hello, bee. Where's your friend? Can I have a friend? Hmm. Okay, well, this is awkward. All right, I finally found two. Come on. Oh! There we go. Come on, make a baby. Oh, he's so little. Oh, look at him. Cute. And he should have a home now. Based on these two. But while I wait for, you know, nature to take its course. Uh, oh, there you are. While I wait for nature to take its course, we can go ahead and... I think I had, what was it? A few things I needed to do today. Uh, I did want to go back to the end portal real quick and kind of, well, you know, go grab Leo, uh, Leo Sweeney commented on the ender port in portal video. Um, that I had missed the shelf in the library. So I'm going to go grab that, but also to grab the books and stuff. So let me go get situated for that. And then I'll meet you over at the portal. Now, quick side note. One of the things I was going to do was uh, create a spawner this episode, but I might do that. I don't know at another time or I'll do it off camera. Cause you know, you make one, you make them all. And I already made one earlier in this series in a different world. So I might go with that design still. I'm definitely going to use the one in the Savannah biome, if you don't remember that one. But, I don't know, you know? <laughs> All right, now if I can go find the darn thing, we can continue our adventure. Ooh, and this time, I do have more torches. Good. I'm not going to film the whole adventure, but I would like to, you know, find my full library. <laughs> Look at these two. They spawned in the jail cells. <laughs> Losers. You know, I might as well record because I'm <laughs> some crazy stuff is going to happen. I can just tell. All right. What's in there? Nothing. Uh, okay. Have I looted that? I don't know. Oh, now I'm stuck. Just kidding. I have a pickaxe. 
Uh, let's see if I can find the big library. That'd be nice. Okay, I feel like this is the one that goes into a dead end. In both directions. Sorry, I didn't mean to stop there. Yeah, this one goes. Okay, <laughs> this one goes into a direction or a dead end in pretty much every direction. Yep, dead end right there. Dead end down here. Dead end. Dead end down here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, perfect. It was down here. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's one up here. Now, is this... This is not the double-sided library. The double-sided library is up through here. Which I'm going to go and look first. Because Leo did say it's upstairs in the corner up here. If I can... Oh, yeah. It's over here. If I can get up. Let's see. If he is correct. Oh. Yeah, Leo, look. No chest. Huh. Oh. Ha. Call me dumb. You can you can say, Leo, you are in that. I told you so. Let's see. We got the eye armor trim. That's cool. Riptide 3, fire protection 3, luck of the sea 2. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, Paper? Yeah, sure. I'll take it. And then I'm just going to go ahead take all of it. I'm just going to go ahead and harvest all these uh, bookshelves so that I can, you know, have books for my library. Well, so that I can get enchanted books because that is something I'm going to want to emphasize more uh, because, you know, enchantments and whatnot are better if you can pick and choose. And if I build the library of enchantments up, then, well, you know, that's not going to be that, that I can I can you know pick and choose whichever I need, which is why next episode I will be making a mob farm out of that spawner in the savanna biome. I also need to make a raid farm at some point. I saw a design for that today, and I was like, huh, oh, I should do that. It'd probably benefit me. All right, well that's both of the libraries cleared out. Now I just gotta find my way back to where I came from. Which, okay, wasn't that hard. Cool. <laughs> and now I get to... Oh, wait. I can just sleep out here. I was like, oh, now I get to go home in the dark. It's going to be all stinky. But nope. That's why I built the house out here. That and so when I die, you know, I don't have to come all the way back down here. Honest, well, honestly, I'm probably going to put a bed down in there uh, next to the portal. Maybe, Maybe a little bit behind it, but you know... Something like that that I can get to easily um, when I die. Because I will die a lot in in the end. And I am not afraid to admit it. So, aha, there you are. I was like, why do I have nothing? Oh, yeah, I also got a lot of books. Let me just throw some of this junk in here for now. I'll keep the arrows. I'll keep the exotic stuff. I'll keep that. But, yes, I'm glad I got the books because now... I don't have to worry about, you know, oh, did that again. Now I don't have to worry about, you know, my carrots because the carrots are expensive. Okay. They are. And I don't know if I'm ready to make a ton of carrots all over again. Now I can buy them, which is a very good trade, which I will have to do soon. But until I'm going or until I'm buying them regularly, uh, I'll have to make some. All right, now that I'm back, I can go ahead and store all these books. Um, honestly, just down here. I was thinking about putting them in, what's it called? My library, but that doesn't really make sense, does it? Uh, I can put this one in because it's enchanted. If I put them all in my library, then it would have, you know, kind of just been like, eh. I, I wouldn't have been able to figure out what's what. That's not, there we go. Uh, let's see. I think this one has the Riptide book. Riptide? Channeling. Riptide? Riptide 2. Alright, since this is Riptide, this is Riptide 3, so I'm gonna put that here. Okay, hold on. This can be Riptide 3. This can be Riptide 2, and this can just be Riptide. I don't know if there's... Ah, that's gotta be. Uh, this... A channeling, Soul Speed... I'm going to have to start labeling these. And then for my armor trim, I can go put this up away. 
back where nothing bad can happen to it, and then I can meet you back at the bee farm. Now, my, eh, that was in English. Now, not much has changed at the bee farm. Uh, I hope, it, did a bee get stuck in here? I feel like a bee would get stuck in here. You know what, it'll find its way out. Not much has changed out here. I am going to go ahead and do this. Uh, no, not for that. Yeah, actually, no, I can do it for all of them. I was going to say, I'm going to do this on the back just because it, well, honestly, it kind of makes sense. Ooh, what? What? I did not know that fences did that. Nope. Okay. Uh, well, this is going to be a little tricky. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, yes, this will be tricky. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> what am I going to do for here? Uh, hello, B. Oh, goodbye, B. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to use these. And honestly, these kind of look like honeycomb-ish. There we go. Sorry. I hope there's no bees in there. Uh, and then here. Yep. Can do that. Thank you. And I also found another bee. Um. Oh, wait. No, that one looks better. Oh, I need to harvest this. Give me that. Give me that. And give me that. But I also found another beehive uh, out here. Ah, I gotta fix that though. Is it because, okay. So I guess if I don't pick it up, I gotta, I guess that's one flaw in my design. Oh, wait, can't see they, all the bees. All right, uh, let's see. Ah, yes, you. See if I can just kind of. Nope. I was gonna say, can I just like cherry rig it? But actually, wait, I can just do this. There we go. Boop. And then I can come back here. Yeah. And then place it like this. Boop. Awesome. And then now that it's night, I can go grab my. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I can go grab my silk touch thing, pick, sorry, not thing. <laughs> I can go grab my silk touch pick uh, and a f fire. Actually, I don't think I need it if I got silk touch. So I can just go get the bees right now. They're over uh, by my canal. I passed them on the way out and I was like, ah. Bees. Now, of course, I have to brave the darkness, but I, th I think I shall survive. <laughs> I'm always being so dramatic. Ah, I was going to say, now the one downside it to harvesting these at night is that you have to find the beehive without the bees, but that was actually pretty easy. I, like, literally, as I turned around, there was there was bees. <laughs> oh, skeleton. Hey. Okay, get back. Ow. Stop it. Okay. Now we can go back and put this in here. And honestly, you know what? I can just do it right now. Ow. Stop it. Ooh, that's a lot of monsters. <laughs> Good thing you can't catch me in Riverton. Half of you can't swim. Oh, but spiders can swim? Well, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. The spiders are technically bigger than the zombies. But then again, it did say the undead can't swim in the game, so that that makes sense. Could you imagine if there's like underwater skeletons in the game? That would be horrible. Oh, I'm gonna need some more of that action. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, well, looks like I'll have to do that in the morning. Okay, so I did make a little bit more uh, <laughs> fires than I wanted to, but it's okay. Because, uh, of course, my decor is, or my black wheels in my decor. But it's okay because, well, I can be prepared ahead of time for when I get more bee boxes and whatnot. 
I don't know if I'm going to finish them this episode. I hope I do because, I mean, come on, it's a pretty simple task. Let's see. There you are. Ah, I should have used screw stories. Oh, well. Come here. You know, one of the things I need to build is a jail. That might be... Ooh, look at that. The copper on here is on the tower is getting old. It's interesting. All right. Check it out. Bees, I have returned. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bee. This is why you put the, the carpet. There we go. Okay. Okay. Don't want to grill. <laughs> don't want to grill my bees. Uh, oh, of course, I forgot the wood. Anyway, shovel. Put these out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are they? Are they dumb? I mean, they're bees. Yep, there you go. You figured it out. Come on. There you go. I was like, did they? Are they dumb? No. Uh. Let's see, if I could get one coming out, that'd be awesome. Uh. Oh, perfect. Got it. I was like, ah, oh, I need one. Now, what else is left? Some more bee boxes, honestly. Uh, campfires. Don't know what I'm gonna do with those. What did I get? Twenty-one nether wart. What? Huh. Okay. That's odd. But anyway, let me grab this. These bee boxes, or the wood for the bee boxes. Make a bee box, and then. Not sure. Where are you? Give me that. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, bee high, bee box, same difference. Uh, wood, I guess you can go there. Sticks can go in there. Nether wart, don't know why you're in there. Uh, you boop, boop. Cool, wood, all you in there. Uh, I guess that's building blocks. I don't know. Ooh. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this out by the bee. The bee farm, add a little pizzazz, a little color. <laughs> Let's see. Boop. I think we can put this. I don't know. Why not right there? Yeah, something like that. Uh, bee box. Thank you. Oh, bee, bee, bee. Okay, well. Can they not fly out okay hold on well it's not gonna make any sense when it's all covered okay you guys are dumb it's not gonna make any sense when they're all covered like that <sighs> you know it's okay <laughs> we can be buddy buddy come on but come on buddy Oh, you were so close. There you go. All right. That, sh that should be fine. I'm trying to direct them over here by my crops, but actually that looks like it's kind of worked. Right. Ow. Let's see. I think that's good. I think that's a good bee time. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. I know we didn't get too much done, but I did want to start this so we could have a farm and have a nice little thing. Uh, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with streams and other videos randomly in between. Until next time, this has been Back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin. Peace.